Hello again. Um, in this video, I thought we'd experiment a little bit. In the last video, we removed vowels from a string. Uh, in this one, I thought it'd be fun to replace a vowel with a random vowel uh, that's in our vowel vowel um, array. So I can use the code that I used before uh, with a few modifications. All right, so let's take a look. So in this uh, bit of code, we look at each letter in the message and we check to see if the letter is not a vowel. If it is not a vowel, then we add it to this new message. If it is a vowel, then what we do is um, we printed a message saying this is a vowel. Right, so what do we want to do? Let's modify this slightly. So I'm going to change this to an else. Um, so if it's not in the vowel, then it has to be a vowel. Um, right, so let's say this. This time, the new message uh, is going to be equal to the message plus a random letter from here. Now we need to add random uh, because we're going to be using the random function. So import random uh, and let's stick it in here. So we're going to pick a random letter from the vowels. So uh, ran dot uh, choice from the sequence of vowels. Now that's pretty much it. Uh, this doesn't stop us from getting the same letter as before, but we'll run it to see what happens. So the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, so now we need to have some random replacements. So the quick brown fox, well, that one didn't uh, swap over, it stayed the same. Gempod, ava, the lazy, that didn't change, dig. Okay, so that, that worked. Um, so I guess the next step would be to see if the letter is the same or not. So let's just add a little bit of extra code here. So if, um, ooh, what can we do here? Um, let's create a temporary, um, oops, let's create a temporary uh, thing, which is going to be the random vowel. Okay, so temp equals a random vowel. Right, so if the temp is equal to the letter, if it's equal to the letter, then we want to choose a new um, random vowel. Uh, mm. So we really want to do this in a while loop, don't we? So while temp is not equal to, um, while temp is not equal to, the current letter. We're going to pick a new temp. This is a better way of doing it. So we're going to keep picking a new temp till we get a new one. Once we do have a new temp, then we'll just stick an else in here for the while loop and we'll add it to the new message. So that should work nicely. Right, let's try again. Uh, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And there we go. Let's look. The quack brun fax jumped. Oh, this didn't work. Look, we got the U back. Um, why did that happen? Let's have a look. This is always good to check. Temp is equal to. Oh, look. Why did it, why did it happen? Because I didn't change this to temp. We're using temp to check. That's the that was the mistake. I forgot to change that. Always good to keep the mistakes in videos so you can learn from those mistakes as well. I make mistakes, you make mistakes, that's what happens in programming. So the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, uh, hang on. Now why didn't that work? The temp, quick brown fox, that yeah, didn't work at all. Why don't I work? Uh, temp equals while temp is not equal to letter. Oh, that's why. Another mistake. I said not equal to letter. I want it equal to letter. So while the temp, while the new temp is equal to the original letter, find a new one. 
Oh, man, errors, errors, errors. This is what happens. You have to figure out what's going wrong and fix it. It's a whole part of programming. Right, last time. This will definitely work, I'm sure. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Let's put a few exclamation marks in there because it will work this time. The quick brown fix jumped over the lazy dog. Right, that worked. There you go. Easy. First time as well. Get ready for the next activity. It's coming up shortly.